Hello everyone and welcome back to our Paranormica guides. Um, this time we're going to be doing whichever ghost is in the title. I don't know. Uh, a little bad timing. As soon as I started recording, my cat just got off my lap. I guess she does not like my voice, so give me a second to just let her out. Okay. <laughs> a good start to a video. Anyways, um, we're just going to be going on single story, low difficulty, um, you know, buy a few items that we might need, which I don't really think we do need them, but we're just going to get them. And let's hope we could actually just figure out this ghost really quick, get it over with, and hopefully give you guys some, you know, tips and tricks, maybe, to figure out how to get the, the ghost yourself. You've arrived. Go check the whiteboard for any information that you might need. Once everybody's done and made their guesses, everybody should head into the van and you'll be out. I started off, we're going to go with our normal startup. Uh, don't really think we need the name, but we're just going to write it down. Um, objectives, cool. Alright, so we're just going to go in and check all the rooms for an orb. I like checking the hallway first because that's the like most dangerous spot. And there we go, we already have the orb. Let's drop our items. So once you get the orb, you know, if you're playing multiplayer, make sure to let people know you found the orb. Just be like, uh, you know, follow me, the orb's here. Or how I like saying for this room is um, first room on the right, because you walk in and it's first room on the right. But some people not, uh, might not understand, you know, so I might just show them. All right, let's get the three items we need for the rest of the evidence. So we're going to drop the spirit book, EMF, and we're going to grab the spirit box. So the spirit box, we're just going to ask a question real quick. Are you here? Alright. So we got the spirit box uh, answered. We're going to pick it up just so it doesn't constantly talk. Um, so this leaves uh, Shade and Poltergeist. So a Poltergeist... I believe we have already done a, uh, a guide on. This is usually a very annoying ghost. So far, the ghost has not been that annoying, and we do not have freezing temperatures yet. And, um, as I said, it's not annoying to turn the light on. Um, the other option is a shade, okay? The shade is, as it says uh, here, it is a, a shy ghost. It will perform actions mostly when people are alone. Uh, traits shyness, hard to find if not alone. Uh, this ghost, you want to be by yourself to find. Um, if you have, like, multiple people in the room, it just won't want to give up its evidence. Um, you could have, like, all five people in here, or whatever, all holding their own spirit box, or whatever, and it just won't work. Okay, so, if you think there's a chance it is a shade, which it is a shade because we have max EMF, um, you want to just tell, like, you know, people you want to maybe be in by yourself, or you want to try to push someone to be by themselves right let them be scared by themselves so remember this is a shy ghost you want to be by yourself to figure this one out it's it's very easy by yourself when you're playing solo right there's only one of us um so it's it's very very simple for us um it would be better to show with more people but hopefully you guys kind of understand you know it's just good to find it by yourself uh either way you know Thank you, Sam Anderson. We are done here. So we got Ghost Orb, which was kind of simple. Spirit Box, which came fast because we're playing by ourselves. And um, EMF5, which eventually showed up. You can see we got Shade. Got no reward because I don't know. It just happens. But um, either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it went, you know, okay this time. Sorry about the, the cat at the beginning. She was enjoying my lap. But, um, I guess once she heard me speak, she decided to just get up instantly. Um, so, you know, leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a comment. Tell me what I could maybe do better or what you guys want to see in the future. But, um, that's pretty much it. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.